Hey, hey, uh, yeah, so you like Rocky V, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I heard you really like this movie, right? Yeah. Well, guess what? What? That movie's a joke. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Give me your money, man. <laughs> I ain't kidding around. This movie sucks. <laughs> Oh man, what's up guys? Rob from Movie Review Time, Dan from Rocky Bubble 101. We're back, continuing on with the Rocky movie reviews. Getting ready for Creed 2. Yep, and we have Rocky 5. The most hated. Wouldn't you say? I mean, is that fair to oh, say? Oh, for sure. I agree. It is definitely the most hated among people. <laughs> Even Stallone gave it a zero. I'm sorry, I, I don't agree. No, I don't I agree. definitely do not agree. Uh, it has its problems, but oh, it sure. also has some great scenes and it was a kind of a return to form it feels more like a rocky movie it does because john g alveson came back to review uh to direct this movie mm -hmm. to review it it's <laughs> definitely uh more dramatic it's not so action-packed yes and in it there's a lot of character-driven moments and um you have sage stallone who uh stars in this movie as rocky's son who is also stallone's real son so that was kind of cool <laughs> <laughs> no, I was going to do something, but I'm not going to, because it's in poor taste. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I mean, you know what? He gave it his all. You know? Got his ass beat in front of school. Ah, uh, rest in peace. It reminded me of Central. Uh. <laughs> so, okay. So, again, we have... Uh, the movie takes place right after... The end of Rocky Four, where he's naked in the shower. Yeah, uh, Robert Jr. is now forty-five. <laughs> <laughs> oh, as soon as Rocky gets off the plane, the kid looked like he's just been eating Cheerios. I mean, goddamn! Oh, we were breakfast of champions. Oh God, you know what? <sighs> he's just so tall. He did, he, he's a, <laughs> How can you even recognize this kid? Is that if I was rocking, be like, is that is that my kid? Like, what the hell? Okay, let, let me say. I think we need to. I think let's go step by step for this movie. All right. Okay. And I, I think I'll try. Yeah. And hopefully we don't run out of time. But let's just start. Let's just start off. Okay. It starts off right after the end of Rocky Four, and he's in the shower and. As a kid, that scene gave me goosebumps. Well, what, what about before that? There's like a montage thing. Oh, and it's, it's like a good. great montage. Yes. It's awesome. I it's love like a it. recap. To the music Conquest, which mm -hmm. was great. That was great. And, it, and it shows the damage that he mm -hmm. took during that fight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, legitimately, like, yeah, I mean, like, Drago's hitting with like 1,800 PSI. 1,850 pounds of and pressure. You, and if you've seen the fight, he just takes it in the head. Right. Like, the whole fight he does. So, yeah, like, Rocky's in the shower and... Like what he can't stop shaking stuff. Like I remember in the I saw this in the theater and I remember being like, oh, like I was concerned. <clears throat> Honestly, I was okay with this. Like, like I don't the whole brain damage thing. Like it's understandable. Like, yeah. What's so far fetched about it? And there's nothing really far fetched about it at all. So, okay. So then, yeah, they come back to America. <laughs> Robert is uh, on. The, he must be on the roids. Because, <laughs> and uh, Rocky, because of the, he's become more of a simpleton than ever. Um, There's that word again. Yep. They go uh, into the, the airplane hangar, and right away, George Washington Duke comes, and he's like, oh, like, I'm challenging you. Uh, I'm Don King. <laughs> like, okay, like, George Washington Duke, he is a kind of a character, but... I don't, I don't know. Like I mean, I no, don't like no, it. No, no, no. I think uh, he did what he was supposed to do. And yeah. what he's supposed to be kind of a Don King. I mean, he could have been person. eating Jason's heart and Jason goes to hell. <laughs> but nope. Mind if I heal first? It's like Union Kane. You're just like, it kind of just comes out of nowhere. And then all of a what sudden. A fucking dumb character. <laughs> Union Kane. I'll buy, buy a ball right now. What a dumb. <laughs> all right. So then then all of a sudden we're back at Rocky's mansion. And well, you, wait a minute. First, okay, Rocky, says he's, first Rocky says he's going to retire again. <laughs> He says that. He's like, I think it's time for me to well, step no, no, down. Well, no, no, no. Wait, wait. In Rocky 3, and then now he's like, oh, I'm going to yeah. retire. It, remember Adrian's like, he already is retired. Remember? Oh, that's right. Yeah, so she she put it out there. My like, husband's it's retired. Happened. It's already this happened. This is the more to prove. <laughs> Jesus. 
Remember, remember Rocky's like, oh, we just got to talk about that. But anyway, the plane food was really, <laughs> really nice. <laughs> he goes back to being dumb, let's just say that. He was civilized, more dumb. okay? He's more, more dumb. dumb. <laughs> but they explain that because it's brain damage. He got hit hard, so you turn into a retard after that. <laughs> That's what happens. That's what happens. You got your tongue hanging out. <laughs> so wait, so then he goes home, and uh, <laughs> all of a sudden... There's a, a kind of a good scene between him and Rock, Rock, Robert where he's talking about his French teacher. What do you mean like you're seeing through my eyes? Oh, it's like I'm living my life all over again. Then all of a sudden... I threw up. <laughs> all of a sudden, Polly lost all his money. Now, that, okay, that, that was a big like what the F moment. <laughs> like what is he doing? I'm sorry, but no, this whole situation would never happen. They don't even explain it too well. They're just like, catch his tension, catch his tension, there's a power of attorney, Polly. It's like, what the hell is going on? He's the thief. <laughs> Polly had you sign. What the hell's know, going they're, on? They're going to the they're going to the lawyers, and it's like the lawyers are like, oh, nothing I can do. Come on. He lost everything, and Polly's still there. <laughs> I kicked that motherfucker out. There's no way, like, there's no way. And remember, they're like, Rock, he's like, oh, do those commercials, and Rocky's like, I ain't no commercial kind of guy. Uh, yes, you That's are. Bullshit. <laughs> Wait, wait, she said that now because he's dumb. He doesn't even remember her name. Remember, he called her Mick in the shower? He called her Mick in the shower. That's why. Oh, no. She doubts him now. You got to go back to reading. In the, in the bed, you read nice. Oh, but you know, oh, if we go if we go to court, like, oh, all Rocky's loan shark past will come out. Who gives a shit? Oh, my, I can't believe that. So, okay, so here we are, what, probably, like, 15 minutes into the movie and look at all these problems. Okay? He gives his son false hopes. He says we'll get it all back again, which he fucking does. His, <laughs> you know, home team. But we just gotta put, so, so in the first 15 minutes of the movie, okay, we love the beginning mm -hmm. montage. Yeah, very we, much. We liked the concern scene mm -hmm. uh, with um, him shaking in the shower. But then, yeah, it's like, okay, you got over the top simpleton and <laughs> <laughs> over the top George Washington Duke and over the top money loss okay all of a sudden all this shit's just thrown at you and but then the next scene to get a little bit more serious like the scene where he goes to the doctors and they're like the that's a pretty person. sad scene like I feel so like I get teary eyed on that scene when Rocky's like this ain't no time to retire. Not, he's not like, like he's not this. God. Only God. Not, not God. no office. Like, you feel, it's like, you feel terrible for him, you know? Yeah, like, it's, that's sad. Um, and then they got to sell all their stuff and move back into Polly's house. I mean, after what he achieved, after fighting Drago, it's like, now he's down in the dumps. Yeah. You know? And all this leads to, in my opinion, probably one of the top, Five, maybe top three moments in any of the Rocky films, which is the Mick flashback. When he goes to the gym. Well, I like all of them. Like, I like even like the moment where he's fighting and then he's he sees him and he's like, get out one more round. Oh, like right, one. right, right. But the Mick flashback, the actual flashback where he's standing there and there's a scene. In the monologue. Like a scene, like, like, oh. That was great. That, I, I love that scene. It, it is so memorable. Because we I, haven't seen him since Rocky Three. Yeah, and Burgess Meredith came back and, and did the scene. I mean, it, 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 he, it's so well done. It is, it is one of my favorite moments in the entire saga. And again, we get to see the gym. We get to see the pet shop. We get to see all the familiar places that we've seen in the other Rocky films. Hence... It's a Rocky film. Right. It definitely felt, yeah, and, uh, they go to the attic and they get the old clothes and stuff out. And yeah. It definitely felt like they were trying to come full circle. He even found um, Adrian's glasses, the ones that yeah. he took off after he right. raped her. <laughs> or, for, I'm sorry, politely forced himself. That's right. <laughs> yeah. It was the 70s. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> a flashback. <laughs> no means yes. Um, so, okay. So, I remember in the theater, right after that Mick flashback scene... Uh, Mick Flash scene. Miss Flash. <laughs> right, all of, a, all of a sudden, remember it goes into the doo 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 rap music? <clears throat> when the movie yeah, was in, like, the what? music choices were not, it was almost uh, like it was trying to be modern. Yeah, modern age. so that part, I did. I don't like the, the rap, I, I just didn't feel like it felt, it felt 
right for that film. Yeah, that, that'd be a complaint of mine. <laughs> um, so then, let's see. Okay, so then, okay, so then he starts being a, he's running mixed gym, and uh, Tommy Gunn shows up. So we got a new a new guy, um, <clears throat> Tommy Gunn, played by Tommy Morrison, who is an actual boxer. Right. So this is the first time he's had an actual boxer play uh, a role instead of getting hiring an actor. And you know the problem with that is that they can't act. I mean, but I thought Tommy Morrison did fine. Honestly, As Tommy I thought, Gunn, I thought yeah, he did fine. Yeah, he was he, a hothead. Yeah. I think he was good. I, I think the hate for Rocky Five. Uh, spills over into things that really shouldn't be hated. I thought he did a fine job. That's probably because I saw the work print. I like the work print. Oh well, he did act. Didn't he talk about pancakes? That was. Oh, that was a deleted. That was Rocky. Okay. He was drunk and he he was he was Forrest Gump and or Rain Man in that scene. <laughs> uh, well, either case, uh, yeah, I think. People I'll kind of overlook certain things. Just to take, go on a tangent right now, the work print, which is like a director's cut of this, uh, <laughs> I feel is a, a better film, mm. honestly. There yeah. are some good scenes. I feel like, I wish that film would have come out. It's too bad they don't release it. Yeah, mm. I have a copy of it. Oh, yeah. Maybe, we yeah. should watch that. Maybe one time we'll review it. It'd be cool. Hey. Yeah. Yep. But anyway, so, uh, <clears throat> so the Tommy comes in and... Uh, Rocky, you remember in the he's talking to Robert like he's living through his eyes. Well, Rocky wants to start living through Tommy's eyes because it's like he's uh, he wants to be a winner again, you know? Yeah, and it's like if Rocky can't physically be there to do it, he feels like he can be training somebody like he's actually there with him. So it's like it, he's taking the role of Mick pretty much. Yeah, and I I thought that was a it, I I like that aspect like. He started to push his family out because he wanted the glory back. Yeah, and it's <clears throat> that was a good dynamic, like as far as like characters. Yeah, and of course you got George Washington Duke. He's gonna take advantage of this. Didn't this movie feel like uh, at Revenge of the Sith? It did. Like yeah. oh, like Tommy Gunn is Anakin. He's and setting. He yeah. Washington Duke he's is the, the Emperor. Dark Lord. Yeah, he's gonna turn him, and then and he you know, does turn him. Yeah, yeah. Union Kane, who's a <clears throat> pussy mouth little guy. Yeah, but like, yeah, this whole thing was to set up a fight between between that, you know, that guy. And it's almost like that was kind of lame because there was no villain. It's like they turned Tommy into the villain, right? Pretty much. But to set Tommy up, it's like he had to fight someone lame. Yeah, I kind of feel <laughs> like um, I feel like Tommy he kind of turned on Rocky a little too easily, but maybe he, I guess the glory got to him. I mean, I, I know that's where they were going, in, but... Well, in Rocky, even <clears throat> he even um, said that to him. Remember, he's like, he's like, I tried to keep you away from all the scams and deceptions because right. money talks. Right. And he didn't have money when he showed up. He didn't have nothing. Are you hungry? Yeah, yeah. Why well, you come on and eat some food? It's like, oh, I'm not hungry for food. I'm hungry to, to win, you idiot. And he takes him home to Suspetti. Remember when you talked about scams and deceptions? You're the one that should have watched out. You're grounded, you little <laughs> shit. Get back in here. <clears throat> that was a good side plot, though. I mean, I like that his son started to act out and, and, and be kind of hanging out with the bad crowd. And yeah, and you get to see his son go through the struggles, too, living on the streets, which he's not used to because he was spoon-fed yeah. his whole life. And he gets to live on the streets, and he gets his butt kicked, and then he learns how to fight, goes to his dad for help. His dad turns him down because he's training Tommy. I mean, he doesn't really, I want to say, he doesn't really go to his dad, though, right? He doesn't really ask him. No. He just, but his dad, he can, it's like he's stupid. It's like, he, man, like, you can't figure out what's going on with your kid here, but he's not paying attention to And, him. of course, Adrian, she's really not doing anything to interfere, but she's always been that way. She's, she doesn't interfere until, she try. She, I think, she's still always been kind of like that timid character. She wants the best for everybody without getting 100% involved. Yeah. With this situation, I guess. You see, as we're talking about this movie, though, I mean, yeah, we've we've made fun of some things, but th there's the good thing, things. There's, there's there's good things. The good things outweigh the bad. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I definitely feel that way. So then, um, you got the scene where uh, Tommy does turn on Rocky and speeds away, and Rocky's all upset because he feels like everything's let falling apart again. Like he, he failed him. Yeah, and and he's like. You know, he didn't want to be a bum, and he feels like he's a bum again. But, of course, Adrian's like, you're losing your family, and he kind of corrects, corrects all that. And I know I'm kind of fast-forwarding through this, but 
I, I like it, the fight when um, Tommy's fighting Union King. Like, Rocky's, like, acting like he's Punching in the, the ring. Bag, yeah. And you could tell, like... He he wants to do that, but he can't, you know, because right. of the it, the injury. And then when Tommy uh, doesn't thank him, he you can tell he's like devastated. Well, when Duke handed him that check for like what was it, fifty thousand dollars, <throat> and then Tommy has this horror on his shoulder. It's like, you know, what do you do? It's like you're gonna take the money and you're gonna now you're living the life. It's like, it's it, how easy is that? Like, you know. Yeah. You're the dark side. Anakin turned because he's a wimp. <laughs> <laughs> so then, uh, of course, Tommy feels like he's got to prove something, so then he goes... Yeah, because people, when he's fighting these people, the press pretty much criticize him for fighting bums. Like, like not fighting, like, real talent. Right. And then they start comparing that to Rocky Balboa, saying, you know, you'll never be like Rocky. And so then Tommy feels like he has to fight Rocky in order to prove to everybody that he is something. So that's another dynamic. I, I like that. I like that because it's true. He, you're, you're not like Rocky. Rocky, you're in his shadow. You're basically doing what Rocky has taught you to do, but you're not him. He's, he's fought, man's fought wars in the ring. Okay. Yeah, and it was all, all a setup, and of course leads to uh, something. As a kid, um, when I left the theater of this movie, I was disappointed. I remember the first yes. thing I said to my dad was, "There wasn't a boxing match." <laughs> Even though there was, but there was no ring like official, Rocky, official Rocky boxing. Yeah, no, no Rocky boxing. Uh, when I look at it now, or yep, okay, yep. Uh, the street fight. I mean, it was it was new, and I I definitely like it. I love the street fight. It's probably one of my favorite fights. Like, and, and what's cool about it too is there's no gloves, and it's and it's a street fight, which Rocky is good at. Yeah, really, but, it was it was it was evenly matched in that Rocky was past his prime, but he had all the street fighting skills, so that's how he was able to beat Tommy. He like honestly. <clears throat> The hair raises on my arm. Like that fight is so awesome. Like like the music. The music is so awesome. That and then Mick showing up in a, in, a, in a vision. Yeah. Where he's like, knock this guy hard. He's no machine. I didn't hear no bell. Like yeah. oh, man, it's great. Yep. Yeah. And then George Washington dude screaming. Uh, what the hell are you doing? Get up. What the hell? <clears throat> man. Like, but then Robert says he took my room. <laughs> that wasn't funny. <laughs> what about the end? <clears throat> Where we already get the downfall of Rocky at the end of this movie because he gets up the stairs and his kid is hitting him playfully, and he's like, "Don't hit me! I'm getting brittle as it is." Okay, here's the start of it because we get brittle, then we get even more brittle, and then we get cancer, and then who knows? Maybe death down the line. I'm sick of it. <laughs> this is where it starts. <clears throat> and you, you know, this movie was. There's no question this was supposed to be the last one because remember the end credits? The measure of the Man. It, it and I love that song and I love that, that ending montage. Isn't it funny? The beginning of this film and the end of this film, fantastic montage music scenes. Like, they're, they're, they're awesome. Like, yeah. really cool. Um, I, I can definitely say, though, like, if this would have been the last Rocky movie, it would have not been a great ending for the series, in my opinion. There was no closure. Like I, th I still think there is. There were things that needed to be addressed. Yeah. Because really, all he gained his family back, but he still had the, the still, brain trauma. Yeah, he's he, still he, down. He, he was broke, pretty much. Uh, so yeah, I mean, so okay. Just to to recap. So the, yeah, Stallone overdid his his Rocky character in this movie I felt. Did you feel that way? I sometimes. I, I think sometimes he did. <laughs> I, I know he was supposed to be like brain damaged, but I feel like he he just went a little too much. Like the part I, I can I can name an example. The part where he's talking about Santa. Like when he's in the in the living room. The Santa look he's got like a a bit hey yo look who's here you know this guy. Yeah. You know this there, there's things that that I don't think he would have done normally right like that. He just kind of went over the top, and, and you know, whatever. It is what it is. It's so yeah. I mean, like that. You know, that's. Oh, we gotta cut it. Okay. So anyway, yeah. um, what would you what would you give this movie? 
the funny thing is, I'm not sure because I usually rank this before three and four. But as we're talking about this, I feel like I had more problems with this one over three, three and four. So it's it's rough. I used to put this first. Uh, I'm gonna just go. I'm gonna say eight. I'm so gonna rank it. We're gonna go. Th so three, four, and five are all eights. Eights. 